الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد حبت في الله I wanted to give some advice that I'm trying to implement myself as far as loneliness during COVID-19. Because some of us were separated from our families, we're separated from our loved ones, or people are single, they don't have spouses and they don't have a lot of family or even Muslim family or whatever the case may be. We have a variety of different scenarios and all of us face different challenges especially during this unprecedented time and the masajid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in many places are still kind of closed and restricted no lectures no activity especially here where i'm at and in, in many other places as well it's not like the people are gathering to seek knowledge and, the, and, the, and there's activity so then people rely on social media and so forth. And there's no doubt social media is social. It's just a reality of the new world we live in. Or the world we have been living in for some time. That a lot of our social contacts and interactions come through, the, through social media. Websites, uh, applications, and video hosting sites and what have you. So this is the reality, and a new reality. But what can we do to cope during this time? Well, of course, busying ourselves with ilm is, is, is imperative. That, alhamdulillah, we see that a lot of the students of knowledge and mashayikh are doing a lot of lectures in Duru. So I advise you highly to listen and benefit. And also from the lectures that strengthen the Iman. I do not advise you with just entertainment and ent entertainment dawah or just following social media personalities, even Muslim, uh, what do they call them, Muslim persuaders or something like this. Those people who are more or less giving you entertainment value in their dawah, but they're not really calling you to anything from the book, nor anything from the sunnah, nor anything from the madhab of the salaf. Inst instead, usually they're ba'ijidin. Far from the sources of the religion. So, yeah, we all like a little entertainment. We like a little fun. We like to engage. However, don't let all your time be spent with that. And I, again, I don't advise you listening to Muslim personalities or whatever you call them. Persuaders, social media persuaders or whatever they call them. Because a lot of times they can give you akhta mistakes or bid'ah. And, and stuff that's not going to bring you closer to Allah because eventually maybe some of that stuff will make you further from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because the more they begin to persuade you and try to be like everyone else and be so entertaining a lot of times that inter to, to raise the entertainment value they end up compromising some of Islam, some of the religion you know, they end up falling into some sins or some mistakes or some doubtful issues and subhanAllah this even comes from Tulab al -Ilm. Some of them. Wallahu misa'an. So that is the first thing. Is busy yourself with that which is khair and going to be fruitful and beneficial for you. Secondly, Allah, is find some legitimate real entertainment like exercise, like getting outdoors. I highly advise you, if you're in the West, I'm sure you can go out somewhere. You can go to a park. You can go somewhere. And you can go someplace hopefully where there's no people. Walhamdulillah, hamdan kathirin tayyibin mubarakan fi that I'm able to come, I'm out here and there's no one, I haven't seen a person in a good, since I left my vehicle. No one is coming out here because it's hot. And so I literally have this river <laughs> and all of this area and these woods if I want to myself. What a ni'mah min ni'amillah, as far as just to reflect, just to kind of get away, just to kind of breathe. 
The, the second point, the third thing I want to advise you with is striving to have social, legitimate social interaction. So that's good by Zoom and those things. But also, if you can, observing the proper protocols, you know, with your mask and all that other stuff, and with the sanitation, but actually see human beings. This is very important. Human beings are social creatures. So this is another reason why this is such a strain on humanity. Look, look at the Hajj. You know, this is a strain. This is so out of the ordinary. But it is very dangerous as we just lost our good brother Amin this morning to the COVID. And subhanAllah, but I, I do advise that you do see, spend some time with your brothers, people who are kind of, who are carrying out safe habits in general that you know that they're not mixing with a whole bunch of people. Visit and visit and keep your distance. You know, visit and read a book. Visit and talk and discuss because we need that as human beings. So this is very important as a part of your mental health during this time. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to make it easy for us to unite with our families, protect us, preserve us, and those who wish to get married, that Allah makes it easy for them to find righteous spouses who will be a comfort and a strength to their eyes and a cooling for their hearts and pleasing to Allah Azza wa Jal. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.